um, when we're conflicted or in a domestically violent relationship, the kids are, n are not having their best interest met. It's not the priority for one or both parents. You know, when you and I are duking it out, this highly conflicted parent, we're duking it out about, you know, I want this and I think this and I think we sh this is how the money should be and I want visitation to look like this, we lots of times easily lose track of what's really best for our kids because I, I have so much emotion with you. We can't even resolve, you know, how to, what school they should go to and what daycare they should go to and, you know, how, how, who's going to get Christmas what year? We have those issues, and so we have a lot of frustration, and the kids get lost in this. Lots of times the kids get caught in the middle, in either type of a, of a, of a um, family, the conflicted or the domestic, because they see and hear us arguing. We haven't figured out, or maybe we don't care, not to argue in front of the kids. And kids, I remember growing up when my parents had a dispute, I wanted to be where I could at least hear it. You know, I'm at the top of the steps. My sisters, we'd all sit there, <laughs> listening down. And if they had gone somewhere in the house, we knew where to go to what vent to be able to hear in that room. And if we could sneak down and see anything, we were going to do that too. Don't think your kids don't do that. If they can see and hear it, and they're in the vicinity, they will. You may think that they're asleep. You may think that they're playing a video game and couldn't, the TV's up so loud they couldn't possibly be aware. Don't count on it. They probably are aware. Because just like you know your parent, because you have a history with these people, they know mom and dad. And they saw the facial expression, and they caught the emotional intensity before they went off to do whatever, and they know what's going on. They do. How do they get caught in the middle? Not only do they see and hear us argue, but sometimes we pass messages. I'm so mad at you. You go tell your dad. And I'll say it in that kind of a tone. Now, do I really think that's going to happen? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not, because that's craziness. Our kids love both of us. They are not going to pass a message in that tone to the other parent the way I gave it to them. Not going to happen. But we'll ask them to. <clears throat> Um, we used the children to hurt each other. We use the children to hurt each other. I use the kids to get back at you. I know you have plans, and so I'm just not going to show up when you, you think I'm coming to get them for the weekend. <laughs> I'll fix your little card. Doesn't that get back at you? It's not about the kids. They're not the priority. I have paid no attention to the fact that my kids are looking forward to spending time with me, and I'm a no-show, which is the other side of that coin, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, those are, those are some of the similarities. The kids, the kids get caught. The kids are not the priority. They are, they're really left hanging out there by mom and dad. How do we protect everyone in terms of being safe? Always